How certain are we that a specific event will occur? If we use the value 100% to indicate certainty, and 0% to indicate impossibility, then the likeliness that any specific event will occur may be represented by a value within this range. We call this value probability. An event has several possible outcomes. When all outcomes have the same likeliness, we say they have the same probability. If this is the case, the probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of outcomes where it can occur, divided into the total number of possible outcomes. The flip of a coin has two possible outcomes. Heads or tails. Let's calculate the probability of heads. It is equal to the number of outcomes where heads can occur, divided into the total number of outcomes. And we get 50%. Similarly, the throw of a die has six possible outcomes. If the dice are not loaded, each face has the same likeliness of coming up. Each outcome has, therefore, the same probability. The number of outcomes for a given face equals 1. The total number of outcomes is 6. So, the probability of each face equals 1 sixth, or 17%. Take another example. What is the probability of the result being an even number? The probability of 2, 4, or 6 is the number of outcomes that are either 2, 4, or 6 divided into 6. So, we get 50%. On the other hand, the probability of 2 plus the probability of 4 plus the probability of 6 is also 50%. Therefore, the probability of 2 or 4 or 6 equals the probability of 2 plus the probability of 4 plus the probability of 6. More generally, the probability that either A or B will occur is the sum of the probability of each outcome. Probability does not tell us exactly what will happen. It is just a guide. If you toss a hundred coins, will exactly 50 heads come up? Probability says that heads have a 50% chance. So, should we expect 50 heads? When you actually try it out, it will be a number near 50. 